Okay, uh, section B. Diagram shows pattern of wave from a ripple tank. So, you can see the wave spread out uh, from a gap. So, this phenomenon, we call it. A, uh, name the phenomenon. So, diffraction of waves. What will happen to the following when wave undergoes the phenomenon mentioned? Speed, no change. Wavelength, no change. Direction, bends uh, around the edges. Okay. State effect of decreasing the weight of slit on the wave pattern. So, the effect of diffraction actually depends on size of cap and wavelength. Uh. Wavelength. So, this is the wavelength lambda and also size of cap. So, to produce uh, effect of diffraction, which is more obvious or significant. So, what we do, uh, lambda must be greater or equals to A. Meaning the greater the lambda is compared to A, the more obvious the effect of diffraction or the wave become more curved. Because more curved, it will spread more. So the wave will be spread more if the we decrease the width of the slit. So the wave are bending more at the edges and become circular. Okay. Number two, Spectrum of electromagnet. So we have gamma rays, X rays, X visible light, Y microwave, radio wave. Okay, so you must remember the arrangement. You can use any formula that you like to memorize. So from gamma to radio, frequency decrease, wavelength increase. So name the rays X and Y. So X is ultraviolet. Okay, ultraviolet. And then Y is infrared. Okay. So you get one mark and one mark for this one. Step 1, electromagnetic wave, highest frequency. So the left side uh, is the highest frequency. So gamma rays, uh, the highest one. Okay, write down here, gamma rays. Give two properties of electromagnetic waves. So you can write transverse wave, can travel in vacuum, okay? travel with the speed of light in vacuum. Okay. Okay, will, uh, will not be uh, deflected eh, by electric field or magnetic field. Just state 2. Okay, state 1 application. So, we have telecommunication broadcasting. Okay. Okay, name one type of electromagnetic wave which can cause cancer. Ultraviolet, eh, the strong ultraviolet rays. Eh. So, this one will cause uh, skin cancer. Okay, give another use of wave in E. So ultraviolet also can be used to for sterilization of surgical tools huh? and food. Okay, uh, this one is UV light. Also can use to de detect fake notes. Huh? Uh, do it palsu. Okay, G. Choose one wave that used in cooking and satellite communication. Microwave, handphone huh? using microwave. Give one device that uses the wave in G. Microwave oven, or you can write handphones. Okay, choose the suitable wave that can be used in remote control. So, the one is infrared. State one more use of wave in eye. So, this is for night vision. So, okay, number three diagram shows interference pattern formed by two coherent sources S1 and S2. Coherent means produce wave is same frequency or same phase. Okay, or constant phase different also can. So S1 and S2. So the line which is full line, this one represent wave length for crest. The broken line represent wave length for trough. So you can see here crest trough. Okay, name the wave phenomenon interference. Two coherent sources have same frequency. Okay. Underline the correct answer. So it should be same frequency. Okay. 
and then part D using the principle of uh, superposition illustrate the diagram in the space below to show how constructive interference and destructive so for constructive you draw one crest meet one crest produce higher amplitude okay or a plus a equals to 2a okay for constructive you draw one crest plus one trough produce zero huh? amplitude of wave okay for give, number C, eh? given separation between S1 and S2 is 5 cm, distance between two consecutive nodal lines is 6 cm. Measured at, at distance of 20 cm from the two coherent sources, calculate the wavelength. Okay, separation between S1 and S2, this one is A, 5 cm. Between two consecutive nodal line, line is uh, 6 cm. Antinode also can. Distance between uh, coherent sources and distance measured. This one is D, 20 cm. Calculate lambda. Okay. So here you need all same already. So you just uh, no need to convert. Eh? So from the formula, lambda equals to AX divided by D. Okay. You substitute eh, all the values in. So A equals to 5, 6 and 20. So divide 1.5 cm okay so answer must be correct with unit huh? if you put meter so your answer will be wrong so check unit huh? ucm meaning the answer also must be in cm okay number four this is a uh, experiment to study phenomenon of monochromatic light so we use single slit slide the light pass through here diffract and pass through double slit this is like young double slit experiment Okay, so what is meant by monochromatic light? Light with only one frequency or wavelength, or we can say one color. Only one color, one wavelength. Okay. But B, eh? what is a function of monochromatic light? To produce parallel rays of the light. So you can see the fringes produced also uniform. Okay, Draw the pattern form on the screen in the space given. So you have dark and bright fringes. Okay. Uh, same uh, width. Eh? All the fringes, you draw same width. Why the pattern uh, in C can be observed? Bright fringes region is where constructive interference dark fringes destructive interference okay separation of slit double slit 0.5 so you just list out a 0.5 millimeter calculate distance between two consecutive bright fringes wavelength given Based on diagram six, actually from here, distance from the monochromatic line, eh? okay. So meaning from here, from the double slit, thirty cm. So the fringes will be formed here. Okay, fringes form on the screen. So distance from the double slit is 30 cm. Okay. So x x is 30 cm. Okay. Meaning from the, the coherent sources that is a double slit. So we take 30 cm. So you check the unit millimeter meter cm. So choose one unit that you want to use like meter. So this one convert to meter. This one also convert to meter. So 0 0.5, 10 to the power negative 3 meter. Here, 0 0.3 meter. Okay, so you substitute, you get this answer. 3 marks, eh? substitution, 2 marks. Okay. Number 5. P and Q connected to audio signal generator. Each loudspeaker emits sound of frequency 1700 hertz. 
in experiments, student walks along a, along a straight line Y and hear loud and soft sound. ACE are position where loud sound detected, while BD are position where soft sound detected. Name the phenomenon. So this one also interference. So you have loud, soft and loud, soft sound. Loud is caused by constructive interference. Soft or weak caused by destructive interference. Okay. So you can check here. So C is constructive interference, D destructive interference. So part C, the experiment must be conducted in open space. Why? To avoid reflection of sound. Because sound will be reflected once hit a hard surface. So it will be reflected. So once reflect the original sound, it will be there will be interruption to the original sound. The sound will become not clear. Okay, D velocity. Velocity of sound in air 330, fine wavelength. Okay, so you just use the formula. Okay, this is coming from V equals to F lambda. V equals to F lambda. So, lambda equals to V over F. Okay, substitute here. V330, F1700. So, 0 0.194 meter. Okay, distance between two speakers is A, 1 point meter. Okay, uh, loudspeaker and the straight line uh, XY. XY is 5, meaning D, eh? 5 meter. Determine uh, distance between A and C. You want to determine uh, between A and C just now. A and C. So this is X. A and C, this is X. So you want to find X. So lambda 5, D 0 0.194, A 1. Okay, so you get 0 0.97 meter or 97 centimeter. Number 6. Diagram 22 shows a convex mirror attached to the plane mirror of a car. What is use of convex mirror added onto the plane mirror? This is the convex mirror. This is plane mirror. So, convex will produce wider field of vision. So that we can see okay, all the objects eh, beside the car clearly. Name the phenomenon that causes formation of image. So this one mirror is a reflection. Image form is upright and diminished. State 2 are the characteristic virtual and behind the mirror. Okay. For D, diagram 23 shows complete incomplete array. Eh? F, focal length C, center curvature. So this is the object. Okay. So you draw two rays eh, to show the image form. So first, the for the mirror, for the mirror, so object you draw directed towards C. Okay. So when directed towards C, it will be reflected along the same path. You can see this is the incident. This is the reflected. So reflect along the same path and then parallel to the principal axis, this one reflect from F. This is F. So reflect from F. So you can see the two, there will be no image form in front of the mirror. So meaning no real image. So we extend to the back. So we will meet here. So this is the image that form for convex mirror okay image always virtual eh? and behind the mirror so you draw lines you must put you must put the arrow eh, to show direction so this is the reflected ray okay and this is the image form eh, due to the intersection between the light that is tender eh, from the uh, reflected ray eh, from here so you get this one Okay, for section C, 
see essay question eh? number one a student conduct experiment to determine focal length eh, of the convex lens arrangement of apparatus shown in diagram 24 the lens is adjusted so that it is at distant u 20 cm from the object then cross wire screen the white screen adjusted to the sharp image form distance between lens and the screen is measured and recorded the experiment repeated the corresponding distances we are shown okay so from here to determine a relationship between to determine focal length eh? determine focal length so from here we measure what there are two variables here u and v okay so manipulated variable is object distant u the one that you measured is image distant v and constant variable is focal length because we are using the same lens throughout the experiment so focal length is constant we need to find the constant variable for this question write your answer in the space provided in the corresponding diagram using the values okay of u and v okay using the values of u and v calculate linear magnification m tabulate values of u v and m Okay, so we start with U25. So when U25, we adjust eh, the screen so that you can see sharp image on the screen. So measure image distance between lens and the screen. And then you calculate for M. Okay, so you repeat experiment using U30, 35 and 40. So you get four sets of data. Normally it's five set, but for this experiment, four set only. So using suitable scale, plot a graph of V against M, meaning V, V, okay, uh, V against M. So you just follow the instruction. Eh? They want you to 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 use V against M. So you just plot V against M, and then based on the graph, calculate gradient of the graph. Okay, now we look at the graph first. Okay, before that, uh, all the values that you get is coming from this, uh, coming from this uh, diagram. Uh, you go and okay, uh, read the scale uh, of the meter rule and record the reading. So the graph that you get is something like this. Uh. This is the graph V. Uh, there must be label unit both sides. Okay, uh, the scale all uniform. Okay, scale all uniform. Okay, and then you transfer all the points correctly. Okay, and then you sketch line, best fitted line, transfer point to marks, huh? to points, best fitted line, and then shape of the graph must be large. Okay. This one is yeah, seven points and eh? seven point you will get five marks. Okay. Uh, five to six point correct, you get four marks. Three or four points correct, you get three marks. Two points, two marks. One point, one mark. Okay, this is how we get the answer. Actually, this one should be the graph should be larger eh? than this, so you can change the scale. Eh? change the scale a bit so you can get for example this one is 0 0.1 because the highest value is 0 0.8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so you can take 0 0.1 here okay so to produce larger graph okay based on the graph they ask you to determine a gradient so what you do you draw right angle triangle triangle must be 4 times 4 larger square 4 times 4 we need larger square 1 larger square so 4 times 4 so you calculate 1 2 3 4 this one more than 4 and then here also more than 4 so this is large triangle so from the triangle you calculate gradient and write down the unit 
okay so from the graph just now you will get the answer something like this okay so for the gradient m so we get 12.89 centimeter Okay, last question. Essay experiment framework. Huh? Diagram shows water wave moving towards the shore. So you can see this is the crest. Crest, crest, as you know that the crest is lambda between two crests. You can see lambda increases. So you can see the depth also increases. Okay. So based on the observation so what we can say about the inference okay first one state one suitable inference and one suitable hypothesis okay so uh, this one manipulated variable is depth of water so depth of water influences water with length or with length the deeper the depth of water now uh, must put depth huh? the deeper the depth of water the longer the wavelength of water okay c1 aim investigate relationship between depth and wavelength manipulated variable depth of water you can put symbol here wavelength lambda constant variable frequency so all the apparatus needed ripple tank glass block lamp stroboscope manila cut meter rule motor and power supply so you sketch for arrangement there must be water tank screen lamp and vibrator or power supply okay okay procedure a glass block placed in the ripple tank the motor vibrate is switched on so any experiment eh, involving power supply you need to mention switch on stroboscope used to freeze the wave distance between two consecutive bright lines at the shallow region is measured the experiment is repeated by using two three four and five glass block so the number of glass glass block is used to represent depth of water so for the procedure there must be method to control eh, mv that is the first one eh, the a uh, glass block meaning one glass block is used so this is method to control eh, the depth and then measure what right, distance between two consecutive bright lines and froboscope is used eh, to freeze okay uh, two point and then repeat eh, four times repeat four times means there must be five set of data okay okay and then data tabulation you just sketch a table two column one for mv one for rv mv is depth just now mv rv so wavelength eh? you need a per data unit okay so for the depth you can put number of one two three four five number of glass block also can one two three four five or you can put centimeter for example one glass block is 2 cm okay uh, so meaning uh, 2 cm 4 cm 6 cm 8 cm 10 cm okay now with blank you can leave it blank for this part okay so for the graph analysis of graph you plot a graph of wavelength against that rv against mv no need to sketch anything so because this is only a framework we don't have data so that's all for this uh, for this uh, test one uh, discussion so there are two parts uh. first part i discuss section a and this part i discuss section b and section c that's all